It's me, Mr. Voice. This is our tutorial on how to make ion exchange membranes. So we have here some cleaning cloth. It can be paper, but cleaning cloth is better. Or synthetic fabric would be the best. We have over here some PVA glue. And we have over here is our uh, sodium borate. Sodium borate because this will be used for sodium ions. If you need potassium ions, you use uh, potassium borate. If you need calcium ions, you use calcium borate. You know, you just mix boric acid with whatever ion you want. Or you, you can even paint, you can even apply hot boric acid solution onto this. If you, you can use whatever, you know, universal ion, but the startup of the cell will have extremely low current, you know. That's the advantage of boric acid, but the disadvantage is low current. But blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's begin. So the first step is to paint your surface of your material. You just have to keep painting until this whole thing seems to be covered in whites. It's very hard to paint while holding a camera, so I'll skip ahead when the whole thing is painted. Now that you've covered it, you have to first lift it up a little bit just to make sure it's not sticking to the table because the next step will be something. There, you just have to lift it up just a bit. And you have to flatten it out again since now most of it seems to not be sticking to the table. That's all good. Now then the most important step is to cure it. So this this is only your first coat. You're going to do maybe five or six coats or three or four depending on how much you want. You take your sodium borate solution and you shake it. Then apply it through the entire surface. And as you can see, you're noticing that it actually turns clear. That's because you're cross-linking the uh, borates using a uh, borax. You're cross-linking the PVA with borates. Now you can touch it and there seems to be no more. It's turned into some type of gel, which is what you want. Anything that's also on the table is easily removed. There's a cool fun trick you can do if you mix this with water and pour in some borates, you get a slime, but that's not the, that's not the purpose of this video. Now what you want to do is you want to flip this over, start painting, and start applying the spray again. After your first coat is done, you then dry it with a towel and then you repeat the process five more times. After the last time, you then dry it for like a day or two until the thing becomes rock hard. Once it's hard, you can then cut this accordingly and put them in your uh, chloroalkali, ion exchange membrane, whatever you want cell. Okay, so we painted the other side. Now we take our borate spray and start spraying again. After this layer, it is best to dry your membrane on a flat sheet of plastic so it doesn't stick. You don't want this thing to stick. You can apply more layers if you want, but it's better to apply two layers dry than apply the rest of your layers. This is to ensure that you get a more even coat later on. The drying process allows the curing to actually finish. Like, when you're making a slime, the curing process doesn't actually completely finish. It's still semi-pliable. Once it finishes, it, this thing is going to become stiff. And it will remain mostly stiff unless it absorbs a certain amount of water. But anyway, you have to let this dry afterwards. So after you've, you know, sprayed it clearly, it is no longer sticky. You can also move your hand across it fairly easily. Now you want to take this sheet and dry it. So that's pretty much it. You can, it's just a cycle of paint, paint, spray, spray, then dry. And you just repeat this a couple of times, how many ever times you want. The better, the more you paint it, the higher the quality of your membrane, but the longer it takes to start up. So that is one of the drawbacks of making it too dry or too many coats.